Hi, the program that I'm presenting today is a one-way dual language program in El Paso, Texas through the Isleta Independent School District. The elementary school I analyzed is Mission Valley Elementary School. The program model used at Mission Valley Elementary School is the 50-50 model and it's a one teacher, one way immersion program. They have a population of 497 students with 60% of them being ELL students. The program consists of all ELL students in a classroom. They have monolingual and bilingual classroom. It all depends on the parent's choice of program for their students. And therefore, we have separate classrooms. One is a dual and one is a monolingual classroom. Here at Mission Valley Elementary School, they have the one-way model, which consists of the one teacher teaching in both languages at different times of day and different subjects, which we will be looking at later in this presentation. In this case, we're looking at Ms. Cynthia Hernandez's fifth grade bilingual classroom. She has taught for seven years, the same grade level. And according to the information given, the dual language program was implemented three years ago at this school in 2015 due to a high percentage of ELL students attending the school. Since then, the program has been faithfully followed, but of course, all of their teachers need to be biling bilingual certified or ESL endorsed in order to teach these classrooms. According to Izquierdo 2007, the two-way dual language education has been in existence for more than 40 years, which is interesting to see that districts are just recently beginning to implement these programs within their schools if it has been in existence for such a long time. In this slide, we have a table that indicates the model that the district as a whole hopes to accomplish. Each student at Isleta Independent School District participating in a dual language program that continues through, through graduation will have the opportunity to graduate with a state certified acknowledgement in biliteracy. Now, within this table, because we see the way they have it planned out, if it is faithfully followed and implemented according to research-based guidelines, According to Thomas and Collier 2012, it is an indication of a long-term effect of dual language. We can see it in the table, figure 7.3 in Thomas and Collier, where it shows how much progress and achievement we see in English learners who attended the one-way dual language classes. A great contributing factor to the achievement of these fifth grade ELL students, according to Mrs. Hernandez, is the parental support shown. She has seen that the students with more parental support show more academic progress than students that have a minimum parental support because it is important for parents to follow what is asked of them and homework and practice, and also, of course, to come into the classroom and participate in parental activities that make students feel more comfortable in the environment so that they are able to go into critical thinking and feel comfortable with the teacher. Here at Mission Valley Elementary School, currently in the fifth grade, what is taught in each language is, of course, reading math and science 90 minutes a day in English, and social studies is taught in Spanish for 45 minutes only three times a week. The social studies is taught in place of either art or technology. With this being said, of the different subjects taught at different times and different minutes of the day, 
we can see that, like according to Izquierdo's article, 2007, how students are constantly working with a two phonological system, sorting out spelling patterns and learning to apply the appropriate phonics for each of the frameworks. For example, like we said that social studies was taught in Spanish, but social studies can be implemented within the reading. So reading could have been taught in English, but we could transfer into social studies in a second language. Therefore, that's why we, when we see that students apply those systems of phonological awareness. This is the daily weekly schedule of exactly when those different subjects are taught and in what language at the different grade levels throughout the elementary. We are looking at the fifth grade one, so we can see that English language arts is 120 minutes in English. We have math 90 minutes in English and science 45 to 60 minutes in English. But then we have the social studies for 45 to 60 minutes in Spanish. So we have 30 to 45 minutes of Spanish and the rest of the day it is in English. Now we can see this uh, model all the way from kinder to sixth grade. As mentioned before, the model that the district wants to follow is a biliteracy model. And in order to achieve this, they do use a balanced literacy instruction. And I'll go ahead and talk about some examples that Ms. Hernandez did provide for us that are used at Mission Valley Elementary School in order to be successful in biliteracy. Some examples of balanced literacy that they use at Mission Valley Elementary School, according to Ms. Hernandez, are the read aloud and the shared readings. During the read aloud, of course, it's very teacher directed and it is to go ahead and introduce new ideas, but also use the reading strategies to model fluency and correct pronunciation. Now with shared reading, the teacher and the student look at the book together, but the student follows the teacher's reading and this is, of course, so that the teacher can model the familiar vocabulary, the pronunciation, and be able to engage the students in these strategies to decode those unfamiliar words that there may be. The evaluation tools or assessments used here at Mission Valley Elementary School are formal and informal assessments, which include benchmarks, unit assessments, and the test on a station and the weekly test per subject. All tests are given in English, but if there's recent immigrants, then they need to go ahead and take the assessments in Spanish so that teachers could get an accurate status of where they're at academically so that they could build onto that knowledge. Now we do see that According to Thomas and Collier, it is important for students to go ahead and succeed academically in oral Spanish in order to demonstrate high proficiency academically in English. Some of the tools used for assessment by the district are TELPAS, iStation, the DRA, the STAR assessments, practice STAR assessments, and the previous year STAR, if applicable, and they are used to drive instruction and create their intervention groups. Now these intervention groups are necessary in order to help each student individually according to where they're at. Now the interventions are done during reading lab and math lab for 45 minutes and they're in small group instruction. Some groups are with a teacher and some groups are doing different activities with each other where students serve as peer coaches to each other just like mentioned in the article by Valencia that we did see earlier during this week. 
and their software usage on iStation, Mayan, and Reasoning Minds does show if their reading level is going up and Reasoning Minds says what math skill they're lacking to go ahead and be at grade level. And all of this data is used to drive instruction. Now in this slide, we're gonna go ahead and look at this visual where Ms. Hernandez did share with me one of her students' progress throughout the year. We are leaving the name out for confidentiality purposes, but I was able to look at work samples and I was able to look at how much progress the student has made. Now, this student has been with a school for three years. This is her third year and the academics progress shown by this fifth grade ELL student is excellent. They were not meeting their goals at the beginning. They were really at the low 60s, even 20s, you know. But by the time the year is about to end right now, they're already mastering their goals with 93s, 100s, and 86s. You could see that right here which shows that according to research and the articles we've read throughout the semester, that bilingual forms of education are the most effective for building on two ELLs language one knowledge. Maintaining the first language resources and cultural identity help close those gaps between these ELLs and the native speakers, producing ELLs with higher long-term academic outcomes than those educated monolingually. In conclusion, bilingual education programs are shown in research to produce ELLs with higher long-term academic outcomes. The, this gives ELLs tools to succeed in society using their first language and their second language, which will lead to greater, higher ability, economic su success, and the ability to give back to their community. I do want to thank uh, Ms. Hernandez for sharing data with me with comes to show that you know her school is excellent faithfully following this dual language program which is helping so many ELL students succeed thank you so much and I hope that you learned a bit about the district and that we can see that we're doing something right in the future of our ELL students thank you